Greetings, traveler. Would you like your fortune read? Look around. You are a guest in my place of solitude and calm. Here I am uninhibited by the clutter and chatter of all those people in the city. Here, my mind is free. My soul, balanced. Beautiful, beautiful. Before we begin, I have one request. I wouldn't dream of it, dear. The only concoction I drink is a stiff brew of mead when the chill hits me in the dead of winter. You keep an intriguing array of acquaintances, don't you? <laughs> you make me laugh, traveler. Tell me, what do you know of the Black Thistle of East Shade? Ah, oh, I see, I see. To read a proper fortune, I must have a sprig of Black Thistle. Will you bring one to me? Of course you can pick it, child. Who's to say I didn't place those signs there so I'd never run out of thistle? Not per se, but I peered into the future. One of the perks of being a seer, you know. And I can say with certainty that no one else will notice if a single sprig is taken. Picking a single sprig in all of the forest won't do much damage, will it? In exchange for hearing your fortune, I can see some very interesting things in your future. So you'll bring some thistle? Not many around East Shade are as principled as you. What an impressive person you are! Oh, you silly traveler. I am but a keeper of these grounds, helping to take care of the tree and its undergrowth. I only pretend to be a fortune teller to seek out the wrongdoers. I had to test the strength of your dedication. You have made the right choice. You gave up knowledge of your future to preserve the future of the Great Shade. If you want to help the park even more, I encourage you to collect five scragweeds from the forest. Those weeds do a lot of damage to the Black Thistle and the Great Tree as well. <laughs> 